Hi everybody, I'm back with the review as promised. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the film The Burrowers. Um, it's a horror western. Um, it was actually something that I picked up in the Walmart bargain pen for $5. It sounded very interesting and I'm glad to say that it was. To start, this review will contain spoilers. However, they're going to be mild and I'm not going to give anything away, so rest assured you can watch this and it's not going to ruin anything for you. Um, there are a few actors, I'll name this quickly before I get into the story, uh, that you may recognize. Um, William F. Potter, Sean Patrick Thomas, Doug Hutchinson, Carl Geary, and Clancy Brown. Are in this. Um, the movie takes place in the Dakota Territories in 1879. It's about a man who has traveled over from Ireland with his sister who has died on the ship over. He's got a brooch he saved uh, before they put her into the into the ocean as, as she was passed. And um, he's traveled to the Dakota Territories. He's met and fallen in love with a farmer's daughter. He gives the brooch to her. He plans to propose to her. Um, I'm not sure if this is a flashback or if this is an event, that an event that transpires prior to what the scene that occurs next. But in any event, what occurs is the girl is sitting, the girl he intends to propose to, named Marianne, um, who is uh, sitting, removing a splinter from her brother's finger. They hear gunshots. They're not sure what's going on. Her father retrieves his rifle as her mother uh, corrals her sisters and her brother together and they're all waiting to see what's going on. Someone enters their house and says Indians are attacking to go to the root cellar. They leave the house, they go to the root cellar, and as they're hiding in the root cellar they continue hearing shouts and screams that don't sound very good. Um, it's then that they look up at the floodboards, which of course consist of their house because the root cellar is under the house, um, and they can't make out who or what it is, although the noises don't sound human. Um, it's then that the flood floorboards are burst out. You see glimpses of something, but you really can't see what it is, and then the father is dragged away into the dark by some creature and you never get a glimpse of it. The suitor from Ireland returns, um, and when he does, he's with a, a, a companion, um, I believe, that hits his boss, who actually runs a, um, an outfit, and, he, and he's with him as he goes to visit. Uh, when they go into the house, they find the dead bodies of the uh, mother, the father, and the two daughters, um, but the others are missing. Uh, they believe Indians are responsible for it, so they essentially round up a posse, they join a, join a military group, and they go in search of the Indians who they believe have taken um, Marianne and, um, and the other people that are, that are missing from the little settlement that, 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 that's there. Um, I'm trying to think if I can say anything more. Uh, really, I don't want to ruin anything. Um, I think it's safe to tell you that they do find a victim, and this is in the trailer, which I'm going to include a link to below. Um, they find a victim who is buried alive. Um, they, they don't know what it is. They accidentally stumble upon her, and they find her, and she's almost comatose. She does not move. She does not speak. The only thing she does is moves her little toe and scratches in her boot. Um, but the, she's totally, you know, buried alive. So they know something's not right. They know something's extremely wrong, but they don't know what it is. The Burrowers is a very slow burn film. Um, this did not bother me. I felt that it added to the tension. But if you're the type of person that watches movies and you like immediate, you know, um, gratification, if you want to get right to the good stuff, this probably isn't the film for you. And I would, and I would also say if you don't like Western films, although it it, it, it lends both elements to it, then you might not like this either. Uh, for me, however, I thought that the Burrow Wars was a breath of fresh air. You know, I've been watching a lot of um, really. <laughs> Uh, extreme horrors recently and gore and whatnot and this was a nice departure from that and not to mention for five dollars in the Walmart bargain bin I consider this a hell of a deal and I really 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 did enjoy it so without further ado I'm gonna go into my ratings for the film um, the uh, sexuality is a zero. There's no sexuality in this film. Uh, the violence, I'm going to rate a three and a half. There is some violence that occurs. Um, it's, it's not too over the top, but it's just enough. Um, the gore, I didn't find it to be overly gory. I'm going to rate that a three and a half as well. And my overall enjoyment, believe it or not, is a four on this movie. Um, I don't want to say too much. I will, I will say this. And it's not ruining anything in the event that you watch it because you can come back and tell me, or if you have watched it, you can tell me. I wasn't a fan of the ending. Uh, I did enjoy the movie, but the ending just was kind of 
I, I can't tell you, but it just, I didn't like it. My husband thought it was fine. I didn't like it all that much, but I did enjoy the movie very much. So if you've seen The Burrowers, or if you get a chance to watch it, let me know what you think. I'm curious to see if I'm alone, if, if you hate it, or if you loved it, or whatever the case may be. Okay, I'm about to go. I have to do a quick shout out, and then it's off to take care of children for the rest of the day. Yay, so much fun, right? Um, thank you all for stopping by. I appreciate you um, get, taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and to leave comments. I know how hard that is, especially since I've had snow and my internet has sucked. So, anyhow, um, I will talk to you all soon, and I'll be right back with that shout out. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.